Hello, Kyle's Garage viewers. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, in this episode, as you can see, I got a couple engines, and most times this is awesome to have a couple engines laying around. Right now, it's inconvenient because I'm not doing anything with this engine here, which is an EJ25 out of a Subaru. I'm not gonna do anything with that one for now, but I gotta get it off my engine stand because it's the only engine stand I have, and we gotta get this engine onto the engine stand so I can clean it and start tearing it all apart. This engine here is the 2.3 liter turbo engine that will be going into the Bronco. It's a four cylinder. Uh, it should be using the Bronco's original five speed. I hope to be able to get that to work just fine. But uh, other than that, I don't know a whole lot about what's going on with this engine because it's kind of a Franken engine and we'll learn a lot more about it. We'll learn at the same time because there's a lot about this engine I don't know about. Uh, and there's also a lot that I do know about, and I know enough to know that I'm close to getting it working. I just need to verify a few things, which means pulling the engine apart and making sure everything is uh, up to snuff, if you will. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, start messing around with this. Oh yeah, and this morning, I already pulled the transmission off of this uh, engine because it was bolted to a transmission as well, but I don't need that transmission. Sorry you took care of that. And just like that, we got our 2.3 liter turbo Ford four cylinder on the engine stand. And we're one step closer to figuring out if this engine is gonna be good or if it needs any kind of parts or whatever of that nature. Uh, I do plan on degreasing this thing in the near future and starting to take apart the engine and kind of see what's going on and see what parts it needs, if it needs really any kind of parts at all. Uh, I'm sure it needs parts. I know of a few things right off the top of my head that it does need. Um, but I also, this gets us one step closer to pulling the engine out of the Bronco and the transmission. And I want to make sure that this all, that the transmission mates to this engine properly and all that, that the clutching stuff is going to work 
and all that, and then it'll probably all come back out and all that. I have no idea exactly what I'm gonna do. I have just a really good outline of what I wanna do. Um, but yeah, we're really close to getting into the nitty gritty of the Bronco project, I do believe. And at this time, I know the video is really short uh, this time, but I'll take this little bit of extra time that I do have in this video to thank all of my subscribers, all of my viewers, everybody. It's so awesome. There's about 20 to 30 of my subscribers that tune in every single episode religiously, and I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It keeps me going, it keeps me motivated, and it keeps me wanting to make better videos for you guys, because I'm... I'm having a real good time editing these things and getting these videos up, and not only that, but I get to share my project with the world, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I love my Bronco to death, and it's been with me for a very long time, and it's my ball and chain, and at this point, I do believe that the project's going to turn around and become something really, really cool, and I'd like to document that and bring you guys along with me. So, with all that being said... Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in each and every video, guys. You're awesome. So awesome. Share it with some more people just like you. I'm sure they'll get a kick out of it if you do too. So, yeah, give it a share. Get my name out there a little bit. and We can uh, grow this channel a little bit. You guys can be involved with that. But anyways, until next time, guys, take care, and I will see you next time.